Hello and welcome back everyone. In today's video we are going to talk a bit about cameras. Aria Studio supports various different camera types, 2D, 3D, and isometric, and more. You can customize your own camera, but this involves scripting, which we didn't fully cover yet. So we're going to work with the default cameras that we have. Now with Hi-Rise Studio, we have four cameras that you can choose from. The first person, RTS, side scroller, which is 2D, third person camera. We're going to learn how to change their properties, how to set them in game, and how to make them the default camera. Now, each camera has its own properties and settings, which we will go through really quick and uh, explain how you can customize those. So let's head back to Unity and start working with cameras. In Unity, when you create the basic template or the empty template, now it's called, you get the RTS camera. The RTS camera is the basic camera that you can see the world from above. You can see the character up below the camera. So whenever we can just move around the camera, it doesn't rely on the player. It's just a camera for the entire world. Okay, so to get started first, you can see here the simulator. I have the simulator view to view the camera. You can choose the game. It doesn't really matter, but if you choose simulator, you can choose the phone that you want. I have more phones here because I click the install button to install all the phones that are available on Unity. But yeah, again, you can just view it however you want. So let's go with game view, for example. Now, this is the main camera that you get when you whenever you create a world. And here, there are a bunch of different settings that you can choose from. You can choose the position of the camera where you want the camera to be. But if you, for example, choose the position to be like minus 27 away from the world, and if you scroll down, you can see here there are other settings that you can choose from. But those settings won't show won't in real time in the game view, because those are realized fields which will not work unless you start the game or like enter the play mode. So for example, if I change the position here, but I go down and center on camera when spawned, on character when spawned, if I enable this, the camera will reset itself and it will center its position on the character itself. Does that make sense? Um, you can see here there are different bun bunch of different settings that you can choose from. For example, the field of view, I usually go with 30 to, to 60 on the RTS camera, but if you scroll down, we also have I think we have, if, uh, yeah, there's field of view here, the FOV, it's set to 30. So whatever you change here will not be changed unless you override it in the RTS camera script. Now, how to create different cameras? This is for the properties and how to change them. Now, to create a camera, you have to go to the hierarchy, right click, go to high rise, cameras, and you can choose the camera from here. Let's go with the first person camera, for example. Now. I did create the first person camera, but the issue is I do get this warning that says two active cameras found in the scene. Now this is bad because you can't have two active cameras at once. So you go to the RTS camera, you can either delete this or just go here and disable it. Just like that. And if you go to the first person camera and you go to the tag, you can see here that it says main camera, which means that this is the main camera. Now, if I clear the console, I get rid of the error. Now we only have one active camera. But look what happens if I delete this. It says no display one camera rendering because we don't have any active camera. If I go back to the RTS and I enable it, you can see that it's enabled. If I disable it, it, it there's no camera rendering. So let's go ahead and create more cameras. So high rise cameras and side scroller camera. Now the side scroller camera is made for 2D worlds which you cannot use in 3D because obviously it's it's for 2D, right? Again, here there are a bunch of different settings that you can choose from. This is m huge. This is a big camera. So there's a lot of things that you can change here. There's like a dead zone, there's boundaries, which is basically the 2D camera. I'm not going to go in depth here because you can just change the values however you want and you can test them in game if you are building a 2D, uh, 2D game. But that being said, there are more cameras that you can also change or choose from. So if I right click in the hierarchy, go to high rise, cameras, and third person camera, which is one of my favorite third person camera. Now you can see that this camera is basically, it does it does look like it's the first person camera, but it's not. And this is because it's set to zero here because the third person camera is, is usually attached to the player on like from on the head. So for example, I'm going to hit play now and just to show you a quick example of what is the third person camera. Now this is the third person camera. Let's see. Let me let's change the aspect ratio. Okay, it's it's at that it's attached to the uh, to the player. It's behind the player. So where, however you move, the camera moves with you. And I love I personally love this camera. And you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can switch, you can do whatever you want. 
So if I exit the play mode and I go to the third person camera and I scroll down in the inspector, you can see here that there are a lot of settings that I can choose from, like the camera pivot height, initial distance from pivot, and there are a bunch of different stuff that you can choose from. Let's just give you an example for the camera offset. Now the Y, if I change it from 0 to 0.5 to, for example, 2, and I save Ctrl S, and I go to the play mode again, you can see here that the camera is way higher up above the avatar. And you can see here the gizmo of the camera, it's above the avatar, which is which is bad. We don't want that. So, But some people just want to make, make a game like this. But if I exit the play mode again, and I go to third-person camera, and I change this to back to 0 0.5, this should be it. Now, again, there are settings that you can choose from here, wh which are obvious, like field of view. But again, most of the settings that you should change or choose from is within the script itself. That's it for today. Just make sure that you have display one here, because if you select display two, it says no camera rendering. So select display one, make sure the tag is set to main camera and the camera is active and this camera is also active. And that's all for today. I hope you guys learned something new and I will see you in the next video.